Hey guys, I'm sorry about my voice today. It's kind of, I sound like a toe because I'm not feeling the greatest. It's really cold out and I went out in the weather too long and just California girl and Michigan weather do not mix. But I'm doing a redo of the flawless face video that I did in the past because I've had a lot of you asking what I do to get my skin looking so smooth. I promise you, my skin is not flawless, it's not perfect, I have blemishes, redness, bags under my eyes, I have all the same issues that you guys have, but I use certain products and certain techniques to kind of hide those and make my skin look really flawless and smooth. So I'm going to share with you some of those tips today, so if you'd like to figure out how to get that flawless face look, keep watching. Okay, so as you guys can tell, and this is especially a really bad day, I wanted to kind of pick a bad day so you could see how normal my skin is. It's not perfect, it's not flawless, it has blemishes, it has redness, I have bags under my eyes. All that stuff that you guys have, I just use different techniques and different products to get rid of that stuff so my skin looks flawless. So I'm going to show you what to do with that today. Um, every day I put on a face primer before I put on my foundation and some of you guys know that I've used Clinique's Pore Minimizer Instant Perfector as a primer. It works really well at getting a smooth base, but yesterday I found um, an even better one by Clarins and it's a brand I never tried before and I have a review that I did on it already and um, I'll post that after this video. Um, it's called Instant Smooth Prote Perfecting Touch and it's a cream that you put on, and again, it gives you a really smooth, flawless um, part to your face. So I'm going to take some of that with just my ring finger. Actually, I'm going to stick my middle finger in it. And I'm just going to rub this all over my face. And it instantly smooths everything out. Um, it's not going to work miracles or anything, but it is going to um, just kind of create a barrier between your skin and between um, your foundation. And I do put a little... Um, under my eyes. I pretty much use this like I would with a moisturizer. And you really don't need a lot. I mean, I know I'm dipping my hand in it a lot, but I really just pick up a little teeny bit. So this product will last a long time. I'd say if you're going to use it all over your face, it lasts maybe six to nine months. If you're just going to use it on parts of your face, maybe up to it um, or over a year. So... After you get the face primer on, then what I do is take my Makeup Forever um, palette, my concealer palette, and this I swear by. You guys know this if you've watched my previous videos, I always use this. If there's one product that I, you know, would have to pick to go outside in, you know, I had no makeup on, if I had to pick one thing to wear, it would be this palette. Because it has five different colors to choose from. It has, um, you know, really light, medium, or light, medium, somewhat dark, not really dark, but has three shades of concealer and then it has a couple correctors and this one is a peach colored one that you use to uh, put under your eyes for dark circles and the green is to counteract redness um, on your face. So I'm going to start with the peach one, this one right here, dip my ring finger in it and I'm putting this under my eyes, just right there to help get rid of the bags under there. Okay, now do you see the difference between this eye and this eye? See how it already helped? Gosh, I look scary. I'm sorry, guys. But I want to, you know, help you with figuring out, you know, what I do with my face. Because I've gotten so many questions on my face routine. And I've done a video already, but I wanted to do an updated one. So, here it is. And I put a little bit on top of my eyes, too, just because I have a little bit of, I don't know, kind of blotchiness on there. So, okay. Then I take the green color, same thing, ring finger. Oh, and I wanted to mention too, before you guys do your face, make sure you wash your hands right beforehand because you don't want to get any bacteria or stuff on your face. So, this green stuff is to counteract the redness. I have some redness here and then on my nose. So, I just put that on there. And this is, you know, really creamy. It's not oily at all, so it shouldn't break you out, but it does really glide on easily because it's a nice cream formula. And that's what you want. If you use any kind of liquid concealer, um, all it's going to do really is slide on your face. You want something that's sort of thick that's going to um, stick to your skin a bit so it actually covers what you want to cover. Then from there, keep this handy. <clears throat> 
I take my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and I'm NW15 because I'm cool toned and I'm really pale so that's the lightest color <clears throat> they have in the Studio Fix. Sorry guys, my throat, my whole face is just kind of like going to explode. Um, and then I use the CoverGirl True Blend and so, again since I'm pasty white I use number one. I mix these two together to create my perfect shade because um, even though this is a cool formula, it's still too yellow for me, <clears throat> so I have to mix it. So I put two squirts or maybe one and a half squirts of the um, Studio Fix, and you can get the foundation pump from MAC, so just look for that. I think it's a couple dollars. Take your CoverGirl, one squirt of that. That's just because the CoverGirl one's really, really light, so... Then I take Max 187 brush. You don't have to use this brush if you don't want to. I find it helps a little bit, um, but I know it's a really expensive brush. I found this one at an outlet, so I got a good deal on it. Um, you could also use Coastal Sense brush. Um, the difference is it's a little bit smaller head, and the bristles, since they're just a teeny bit longer, they're going to be looser, but it works okay. So that's an alternative if you want. You know, don't want to spend a ton on this brush. I dip it into my hand and I kind of mix the two colors together and then I just dab it all over my face. Hold on, let me get my bangs completely out of the way. Sorry, I sound like a toad today. It's like really cold out and so I think I'm coming down with something. Okay, so dab this all over. I know it looks really scary and then you're going to start to blend it out. Okay, now that my foundation's on, and yes, I know I look incredibly pasty white, I think the color, I think I put too much um, CoverGirl color in there, because that's really light, but anyways, um, once I get that foundation on, then I go in with the lightest of the colors here for under my eyes to brighten them a bit, because, you know, they do have the dark circles, so I put just a teeny bit of that under there, and just blend it out with that ring finger, put a little bit on the eyes too. I don't know if you can see a difference at all between um, this side and that one, but it really does help brighten your eyes if you have a lighter color concealer on top. And then if I still have some blemishes, if I'm having a really bad face day and I need to cover even more, I'll take one of the two colors, the medium or the darker one, I'm going to stick with the medium, and just kind of pick some spots that maybe have a little bit of blemishes. And I'll put that on there with my ring finger, just kind of touch it up. I know this does seem like a lot of process, but, you know, I'm not going to lie, it is, um, it is a process to get that flu flawless skin, unless your skin is, you know, absolutely perfect, which, if you have perfect skin, just don't even talk to me, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Most of us don't, so we have to, you know, kind of fix it with some products. Some of you may also think this is a lot of product to put on your face. You don't feel comfortable with that. I completely understand. That's okay. You can go to, um, you can still do the concealer, maybe put on a tinted moisturizer of some sort. You don't have to put all this on your face if you don't feel like it. For me, um, it works really well, and it doesn't really feel heavy on my face. Um, but, you know, again, if some of you really like the natural look and you don't like putting liquid foundation on, I'd say... Uh, tinted moisturizer concealer. You could even do like the mineral foundation if you have oily skin. I'd say use that. But for me, since I have dry to combo skin, I use the liquid uh, because the powder dries out my face even more. So that's your options. But to set my foundation, I do use the mineralized foundation. So I like just a teeny bit more coverage. Um, sometimes I'll use the Bare Essentials. A foundation in fair it's like 1c or something and if I'm having a good face day and I don't really need the extra coverage I'll use the makeup forever HD powder I don't have a full one yet I just got a sample from Sephora it looks like that works really good it gives you really flawless smooth um, skin over that foundation but today I'm going to use the um, bare essentials one so just put some in your cap and I take the pink kabuki brush from um, Coastal Scents, real cheap, really inexpensive. Dip it in that powder, tap it off, and just buff this on. Once you get this um, routine set, it really doesn't take that long. I'd say I spend maybe 
five to seven minutes, maybe up to ten if I have, you know, having a bad face day on um, my face. And I know that's a lot of time for some of you. You have kids, or you have, you know, work in the morning. Um, so I, what I would do is maybe cut out the full foundation and powder to stick with um, concealer of some sort. And just put that on. Maybe brush a little powder on. Okay, now time for the cheeks. Bear with me, I know this is a longer video, but I want you guys to see the whole process. I use Max 160 brush, the angled one. You can use any angled brush. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure it's an angled, you know, cheek brush. I take a Max Emote blush, but since it's wintertime and I'm really pale, I want to get some color. I'm going to use NARS Laguna Bronzer. And that's this one. It comes in a big pack like this. This is great for contouring also, and so I'm going to use that today. Let's take a little on that angle brush brush, do the fish face. And you want to do a diagonal line like this. And this is going to bring out your cheekbones. I know this looks really dark right now, but I'm going to blend it out. So don't give me that funny look now. I know you're probably thinking, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> okay, so put this under your cheekbones. Just a nice diagonal line. I like to put some under here to get rid of some fluff, as we call it. I heard that this is Fergie's trick, as her makeup artist puts a lot of contour powder under her chin because she's real paranoid about getting double chin look in her videos or whatnot, so... Just a little pit, bit of uh, music trivia there for you. Okay, so I do that, and I'm going to put just a teeny bit on my forehead just to give me some color. So I'm going to go around it like this because that's where the sun would naturally hit you. So that's where you get more color. Then I just take any old brush. You can use the Kabuki brush or this one here is Max 183. And I start to blend out that contour powder. That way it doesn't look you know, like a streak, but you can still see it's kind of contoured there. It gives me a cheekbone. Take that blush brush again and use whatever blush you want. One of my favorites is uh, Max Pleasantry. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. So I use that one. It's a nice pink color. Uh, they don't, I think this is limited, so probably a good one that you could use is Dainty by MAC. It's a good pink. Or my other favorite blush is NARS Orgasm. Really pretty peach color. So I'd say if you don't have that one, go with that. Really good blush. Putting this just above where I did that contour. And I'm doing that same diagonal line because I want my cheekbones to look like they're standing out and I don't want the blush to be a big circle here. A lot of makeup artists say to do that, but it really it just makes my face look rounder. Um, if your face is, you know, is very thin or very chiseled, then I'd say do the blush like that in a circle here, but I don't like it just, you know, again, because it makes my face look round. So I do it like I'm contouring, but just up a little higher using that same brush. And just put it on there. What's great about these mineralized blushes is they're buildable, so that's good. Same thing with the NARS blushes, they're very buildable, so they're really good blushes. Then, um, oh, sometimes, I don't do this every day, but I'll take, you know, that dual fiber brush and some Fix Plus spray, spray it on there, a couple sprays, and just dab it on to get rid of that powder look. And this just evens everything out again, kind of blends it, smooths it out, and just gets rid of that powder look. Okay, last bit is the highlighting, and I use um, Max Cream Color Base in Pearl or Luna. I just picked up a Luna one. It's a little bit lighter, so I'd say if you're medium to dark skin tone, go with um, Pearl because it's not quite as white. But it looks like that, and you just warm it up with your ring finger. And I just dab it like that on the cheekbone, and then I use that finger and I blend it up here on the side of my eyes, and then also here underneath my eyes a bit to kind of bring more attention to my eyes. I don't know if you can see a difference between this side and this side. If I were to take a picture with a flash, you'd really see the difference because with the flash, it gives you that really nice glow here because that cream color base just kind of reflects a bit. And so that's um, a trick what a lot of movie stars do, I think. It may be a different product, but definitely if you're getting pictures done and you want that nice shiny glow, that healthy look, 
this cream color base does help. Okay, so that is the face. That's pretty much it. From there, I just, you know, I would do my eyebrows and then apply my eye makeup. I know this seems like a process on here, but once you get in a routine, it really does take maybe five, seven minutes once you get it down. Um, and I know I used a lot of products, so um, just pick and choose what you guys really want to focus on most. If you want um, blemishes concealed, I would say this is a really good investment, the Makeup Forever palette. Um, if you don't want to spend that much, then... Sorry about that, camera pooped out. Um, again, Makeup Forever concealer palette, my favorite go-to item. I would not live without this item. Um, if you don't want to spend that much on concealer, NYX, the ones in the pot form, those are pretty good. Those will work really well. Um, foundation, <sighs> that's one thing I've spent money on. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to lie, I'm not completely in love with the Studio Fix Fluid because of the color and some people get irritated by it, but it does cover really well. I do like the CoverGirl True Blend. Um, because it's smooth, but it doesn't cover as well as I'd like. So I don't really know of a good drugstore brand that's perfect. Um, I've heard the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse is good, and also the Maybelline um, Mineral Powder. I've heard that's really good too, so that's a couple options if you want to save money there. Um, blushes, um, I know Milani has a couple good ones. Physician's Formula has some good highlighter, shimmer, strips is what they call them. But I would definitely invest in um, probably a concealer foundation. If you're going to wear liquid, I would say get a good one. Um, and then that cream color base, because I don't know of a brand that sells something like that. So. Sorry if that was long and if I blabbed too much, but I really wanted you guys to see that my face is not perfect. Um, it's just a process of products to use to make it look like it's flawless. Um, so hopefully it was helpful for you guys. But if you have questions or anything, just email me at marlena at makeupgeek.com. And um, there's a side link right here that will have links to where you can get the products. And um, go to the site, makeupgeek.com, and I'll have a full list of products pictures of them so you can print it out if you want to, you know, buy, buy some of these products, you can have that um, on hand. So, <sighs> anyways, I hope you guys are doing really good and staying warm and not getting sick or anything, so you won't sound a, like a toad like this, but thanks again, guys, for watching and subscribing. I really hope you're doing good, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.